shot. So this is a really good drill for someone that uh, extends the club a little early from the top or casts it out. So a cast from the top of the swing is when we make a backswing just like this and we lose that angle from the top and it just kind of looks like we're casting out a fishing rod. What that does is you lose a little bit of distance, you lose a little bit of accuracy. So I've got a couple, I've got a little thing that I'd like to do with you that'll help stop that, okay? So you'll just put an alignment stick or a club and when you're set up, it goes right down your feet line, okay? Just like that. Now you're gonna make a couple checkpoints here. So the first checkpoint, when we set up, I've got my nine iron here. You can use a pitching wedge. I would use a higher lofted club just because it's a little easier to make this motion. So set up to it. Take it halfway back. Let's just get a checkpoint just like that and just match that shaft, the golf shaft, with that shaft that's going right down the target line. And if you look, you can see that the toe of the club is pointed more straight up to the sky. That's going to get you a really good position starting back. So you'll go right like this, check point one, take it all the way to the top, and just do a couple pump moves here. So pump one, pump two, and you'll get it parallel with that alignment stick. And then you'll take it back again and pump right to impact, just like that. Feel a really good impact. Then set up to it. And feel that motion in the swing. These little freeze drills really help you um, really get that good feeling of impact and those positions that you want to find. So let's look at it face on. Again, we're trying to get that cast like this out of your swing. And to do that, we've got to do some pump drills. So set up to it just like this. Check that halfway back. Go all the way back and just feel that pumping motion and maintain those angles right like that. Okay, at no point in this drill do I want this and then you kind of lose that angle just like that. Okay, so really try to maintain that angle in those wrists as you're pumping just like that. Let's try it again. So rehearse that motion, halfway back, do it again, halfway back, all the way back, pump, pump it halfway down, right down the target line, pump it right to impact. Now hold on to that feeling, hold on to it, and hit it. That's what's very important when you're doing this, guys, is what you want to do, what you don't want to do is make the motion, right? Make the motion like this. Okay, that looks good. But then you don't want to sit here and just stay static over it. See that right like this? All right, I'm going to just... I don't think you go anywhere, right? So let's just get, feel the flow of it, okay? Let's get flowy with it here. Boom, boom, right to impact. Hold on to that feeling. Give me that good swing. Okay, again, right to there, and grab that position. Quarter of the way down, halfway down, matching that alignment stick right there, right to impact, hold on to it. That 
taxi. Good. We're going to start picking up some speed, too. Got out there about 150 with a nine. After you get used to that, checkpoint one, checkpoint two, pump, pump, swing through. Hold on to that feeling. 